like paper. Uh, and, and a thick, smudgy, smudgy smoke, smoke starts pouring out of the uh, the staircase leading up into the main f main story. And you hear more shouts of alarm and people screaming, glass shattering, as uh, the party goers all begin to stampede for the exits. And I start screaming at the top of my lungs, FIRE! 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 And we're making our way towards on the everybody. Exit. Okay, as you exit the, uh, the bottom room, you hear the sound of pounding on the doors leading in from the garden entry, and uh, mm. cursing in uh, a dialect of common that you're not familiar with. Um, okay. But it's I, heavily I cast accented. Bless on all of us. What's that? We saw that? I cast Bless on all of us. Okay, gotcha. That's... Nice. Yeah, but with, with all the confusion and all of the chaos of the fire happening downstairs, uh, you managed to uh, escape with very little scrutiny as everyone's basically just running for their lives as the smoke just pours out like thickly from uh, the museum room filling the hallways and you see the the armsmen and the servants attempting to force their way through the crowd and they're basically bowled over um, as the stampede makes their way outside and you manage to escape the manor without being attacked right out the front door exactly right, right out the front door as boys as, as soon as we get out the front door like when we make it to the outside of the guards i do um Pass without a trace. I don't want anyone following us. Got you. And haul ass for the guild house. <clears throat> All right. So as you return, so less drops. As you return to the, the scene of the crime. <sighs> yeah, I feel terrible. We need to hide this picture. But I, like, I just turned really into a criminal. <laughs> It'll pass. Actually, it may not even no, no. like. We we saved this. We're not keeping we it. Saved it. What? There we, we, can, we can go back at a later time and tell them we have your painting. These, these assholes came Dude, with your unless, house on fire. Unless this is the deed in disguise, we've just robbed somebody. We robbed yeah, somebody. We went into their house, we, we took something that wasn't ours, and we burned it down. Uh, yeah, see, that's exactly what fire, fire people do. They go in there, they take people out that aren't theirs, and I, I just think firefighters are good people, so that's the, that's the line I'm taking. I refuse to believe that we did something bad. This yeah, keeps I think that's just my drinks after I don't have a moral. I don't have a moral compass. I mean, I, mean I, I don't see what we gained. I mean, I know we got the painting, but we can't this sell this. Price, we can't. Priceless. We can't. Yeah, so as you are leaving, as you're leaving the estate grounds, making your way back towards the city of Baldur's Gate. On the path leading back over the hillside, you see a large, steely colored dragon and a young woman with short metallic silver hair, a curved saber at her hip, and the greaves and pauldrons of a member, a member of the Purple Dragon Knights. Standing um, on a rock outcropping, looking down at you as you struggle your way through the path yeah. leading back. When I when I see her, can I just say, "Oh, purple dragon knights, great!" Come on, man, we're level three. <laughs> come on, really? come on, DM, come on. And then, so and, what do we know, know about purple, us, dragon like, purple dragon knights? Purple dragon knights serve general. in the realm of Cormier. Um, they are the elite heavy infantry of that realm. And uh, they were trained, I forgot the name of the actual NPC, they were trained but specifically by a war wizard uh, who taught them to work in conjunction with the other, basically like the arcane arm of the Cormiran uh, military. So they're considered to be some of the best heavy infantry in the world. Okay, so, so it's just when one I see her, I dragon, say. Right? Yeah, and, and, just, and a I'll silver dragon, and say, not a silver dragon, but a steel dragon. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, can I say, well, I hope we've proved our worth. You've come to extend an invitation? <laughs> Auto your godsend. Yeah, so as the, uh, as the woman strides down, she says, I'm glad that you were able to prove your worth. We had to be certain yes, that you were not simply brigands <laughs> and thieves, as my friend had intimated, and she nods her head over at the dragon, and the dragon snorts a, uh, a stream of fire and smoke out of its nostrils. She says, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow him a small kiss. Yeah. You may not right. understand that the true meaning of the painting which you have recovered, but know that you have garnered the respect, the patronage, and the favor of a very powerful dragon and a grateful mother. We are fucked. Not so. 
<laughs> I, I'm gonna disguise as her next time. I totally am copying. I'm totally checking her out. She's gonna be in my disguise. Uh, and she she hands or she extends her hand, waiting for the painting. Give it to her. We're gonna get dragon breathed. I say that mm-hmm. out, out loud. Give her the painting. That's not. Uh, that's not hang on. I, say. I wanna I wanna see if she seems like she's okay. sincere. <laughs> Does she seem like she's? <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey man. Dragon next word. Hey man. Hey, man. <laughs> this could be some lame third level bard in a disguise with yes. major image cast behind her. Well, that's true. With that's, a, with a pet true. dragon, you know. No, with just major image of a pet dragon behind her, like so. Mm-hmm. I I guess I'll insight and then I'll and then I'll hand over the painting because I've had enough of this painting. Gotcha. Should I try a charm person? <laughs> just kidding. I mean, joke. It's a joke. She's already friendly. So, she so I'm us. like hesitating a little bit, and I'm like, you know what? If she's right, then then things are going to work out. So, as you hand over I, the painting, yeah, yep. can you ha- send your hand and say, "Do you trust me?" <laughs> as you hand over the painting, she she, uh, she takes it from you with no visible effort, and she says a word in Draconic. Who speaks Draconic? I know somebody does. Me, I do actually. Oh. She says the word return in Draconic, and the painting spins down, um, becoming smaller and smaller before you, before disappearing entirely in a wink of light. This was stolen from her hoard. You don't understand its true meaning yet, but I feel that in the future, you may be trusted enough to understand just what you've done for her. But as I mentioned, for now, you have gained the favor and the patronage of a very powerful dragon, and a grateful mother as well. I step forward, I bow low, I say it is a great honor to have served such a noble creature. Even though it was unknowing, thank you for this opportunity to serve, and I go prone, almost. Okay, she uh, she spins her hand, like her fingers, and between them a almost luminescent silver scale appears. Uh, about the size of a large gold coin, and she hands it to uh, Ikishibi. She says, should you ever need assistance, and should you ever need that favor to be called in, simply... Take this coin and speak your need aloud, and we will come. Before you I took leave, it away like, very, very gratefully. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May we uh, know the common name of the dragon? I look at him through the side of my eyes like, did you just ask that? <laughs> Names can be very <laughs> powerful things, my friend. I, that's what I'm saying. I, don't, I think she's, okay. Come on, please give us a name. She she is known as Steelheart in the realm of Waterdeep, and she has dwelt there for many a moon. Thank you, lady. I bow my head to her and then to the dragon. All right. And that, my friends, is the end of the session for tonight. Excellent job, by the way. I posted, I posted all the straw poll results so you guys can go through them and see, uh, see what happened. Thank you, Chad. It was, really good, Chad. It, was fun. It, was a, it was a fun adventure. I had no idea what was coming next. <laughs> that was cool. I kind of figured it was going to be the Italian job kind of deal, but I, I had hope no I didn't idea. Put... That was cool. Hey, man. man, I wanted to leave with the painting and the chicks. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> yeah, Can a man not have both? <laughs> and, and it was it close. would have been free no, booze all night. Like, like how, yeah, how I could you ruin downstairs free booze? Already. So for you guys, for the party, you guys will be advancing to level 4 for next session next week. On Thursday, for everybody who's watching, if you would like to take part in the creation of the next adventure, be here at 7 o'clock Central Standard Time to uh, to help form and guide the development of the adventure. We'll be doing that the same way we've been doing the choices all night through Straw Poll. But instead of me giving you guys choices, you give me what you want to see from an adventure. We're going to burn more oh, shit this down. Gonna, out. This is going to be sadistic. I just know this chat. It's going to be like the Scarlet Scarves. Sneak in while they're sleeping like, and take all their shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, an entire an entire army of murder hobos incoming. Exactly. It's like, can it, oh, can well, I ask? Three of us. We're all dead. Out of game question there, typical. Of course, man. I get the feeling that the painting is somewhat of a dimensional door to her clutch of eggs. Were you in my chat last week when we were going, or the week before when you were going over that? I was not. I okay. was not, but that's where I would go with that story. That is exactly yeah. what was happening. 
No way, are you serious? Because yes. I thought it was just like something important How would that would not have her eggs. She used to keep well, them a, safe. She had hidden yeah, the yeah, entrance dimension. to her to her tro or to her trope to her clutch of eggs in a dimensional portal uh, that could be accessed through the painting. And only the painting. Yeah, see, so, I thought it was like that spell. I forget the name where you can shrink something down and put really small and put it in a jewel. Oh, that's a that's a creature. I kind of thought that they were doing something for a very valuable thing. So it is. Maybe it's, it's, it's the most valuable thing to her in the world. It's her children. Dragon eggs. Yeah. So she put them I in gotta, extra dimensional I, she, pockets that she can only access so that thing, through that painting. If that we thing I got was an actual that, scale. Is that an actual scale from her? It is an actual. It appears to be an actual scale from her body. Dude, that's balling. That's sweet. Um, and also <laughs> carved in Draconic on the face, like the exterior face of the scale, is the Draconic sigil for the word honor. <coughs> oh, I'm not good to have that. I'm like the least honorable person <laughs> in this entire world. Fair point. Yeah, <laughs> don't be don't be gambling uh, that away. Yeah, I definitely won't. No, I understand the significance of it. So I speak enough? Draconic, so like I I know enough about dragons from being you know dragon swamps and stuff. So. Yeah, so as we do with all of our sessions at the end of the session tonight, we're opening the poll for the MVP, who you guys either found most entertaining, most valuable member of the party, or just the person you like the most. Doesn't really matter, uh, but vote for uh, those things as we are doing our closing statements. Uh, starting with Quintus, I think we might need to restart the chat real quick, Nicole, because no video. I have reached my four hour limit. Yeah, so let's start, restart the call real quick, we'll close the session. I'm here. I'm all right, here. all right, all right. We are back, getting cameras loaded, but uh, we're going to go ahead and do the end of game wrap up. So this is where I ask my players, um, what was the highlight for their character for the night and what are they looking forward to accomplishing next session? Unfortunately, uh, it's going to be very vague for this one because the party doesn't really know what's going to happen next session, neither do I. So uh, let's go ahead and start with uh, Quintus with what was the <coughs> highlight for your character tonight and then what are you looking forward to accomplishing next session if possible? Honestly, I just thought grabbing the book would have been a piece of cake, <laughs> but it was way more fun for him to, <laughs> yeah. to tackle it midair. Um, yeah, that, that really getting stuck it off on the way. gate I... was kind of a second. Honestly, I thought I would get loose <laughs> before the fifth try. <laughs> I had I even had help in the middle, and it still wasn't good enough. Um, yeah. yeah, you know, good things that you thought <clears throat> would go easy never do, and. And uh, tough things sometimes are easier than you think. So it was a mixed bag for me tonight, uh, but definitely all of it was very fun. Yeah, just as a side for myself personally as well, I had a ton of fun tonight. It's probably one of the most fun sessions I've heard in a long time. And uh, having the, the outside influence in the chat was challenging to me as a DM be able to roll with it on the fly and like yeah. go with it so it was just it was great all around so i want to again thank my players for being such amazing sports about everything being such great players and uh, my chat for being such great viewers and influences on the stream it's just been a very rewarding experience for me overall and with that moving right into rat pack same questions for you what was the highlight for your character tonight and what are you looking to accomplish next session uh the highlight for the my character not well one i had a Freaking blast! Thank you, Chad. Thank you, Typical. It was it was absolutely incredible. Everything I was hoping for. Uh, the highlight for my character, as much fun as we had, and as much fun as I had on the library climb, I got to put my very first name on my shit list. So <laughs> I, will be, I will be hunting down that that red scar. I did the same he, thing in Ray's campaign. There was a guard who hassled me when I was entering Waterdeep. And I told mm -hmm. Ray, I was like, I'm going to track this guy down, and I'm not going to hurt him. I'm just going to destroy his life. I'm going to crumble mm -hmm. it around him. <laughs> bit by bit. Exactly. Yep. I'm going to chop him down to my size. But uh, as with everybody else, I, I had a blast, man. I've, I've got, uh, I know you're wonderful at running the campaigns, uh, so that's no surprise there. The, the chat has been fabulous, and my two fellow players. You know, Quinn is an uh, exceptional <laughs> thinker. <laughs> uh, through the game. and it's really fun after playing 
this game for 30 years to be able to see it through Brett's eyes as well. For sure. Uh, as, a, as a brand new player again, it's, it brings back just a flood of joy for the game. Absolutely. So thank, thank you all. It's been a blast. Has been great. Quintus, number one thinker, not number one roller. <laughs> <laughs> the dice were not in your yeah. favor tonight. Yeah. And last but not, not least, our newbie, our brand new, still wet behind the ears, amniotic fluid dripping from his body, player Ikashibi. <laughs> well, who's yeah. the highlight for you so this session? Was, and what are you looking forward oh, to next? Oh man, that, it was so great. It, for me, it was just, it was so fun, um, kind of being on this side because I watched for a while. But for me as a player, I think the uh, lighthouse scene where we finally got to draw swords and I was able to use some of the things I've been looking forward to with my character kind of some misdirection stuff we had you know we had Otto doing some hilarious stuff I got to shove my sword up his ass I thought that was great I mean I really enjoyed that part the whole you know the bro in the lighthouse was super fun um, yeah that that whole sequence for me I'll probably never forget it that was great uh, yeah it was just overall I mean it was just a whole lot of fun to finally get to play and uh yeah, it was awesome. It was really, really a lot of a lot of fun. Thanks for inviting me. For sure, man. It's been just a very rewarding experience overall. But one of the reasons why I started running this uh, the stream in general, but also just running more games in Roll Twenty in general, is that uh, I had a hard time getting games when I was a kid. I had a hard time, even even though I, I lived in a town where it, was, it wasn't unheard of to be able to find a D and D game. But it's difficult. Quintus J with a ten dollar holla, easily worth the price for boot ticket. Hey. That is incredibly generous. Thank you, sir. Uh, Good man. Very much appreciated. Like, like, like I was saying, get like that processor. That's right. Get that better processor. But uh, I had a hard time finding games when I was a kid. And it's hard to get into games on Roll Twenty if you don't, have, if you can't prove them, you have yeah. experience, and you're the right person for the job, and whatever else. So uh, one of the reasons why I started doing this project in general is that I wanted to give as many people as possible um, at least a foot in the door. You know, at least a little bit of experience so they can start building their D and D experience because it's been incredibly rewarding and enriching in my life, and I want to share that with people. So. Just, it's been a pleasure having you so far, and Thanks I look for forward. With me. Of course, man, it's been a pleasure. I look forward to sharing it with everybody as we move forward in this campaign and further on in uh, what I do here on Twitch. So the poll has been closed, and uh, it appears that Quintus has taken the MVP for the night. So everyone will have an inspiration starting next session, and Quintus, you will have two, as is customary on this yes. channel. That's right. Aristotle will have two coming up next session. That deep thinker, man, pulling That's out right. the clutch directional moves. But uh, <laughs> See, thanks, Beer Night, guys. guys. Deep thinker, but I'm not really sure what that is. <laughs> thanks, Beer Night, guys. Really appreciate just... it as always. And hey. uh, we're gonna close up the stream for tonight. So you guys have a good night. We have no Ruby Rose tomorrow because Ray and Michelle are going to be doing real life boyfriend girlfriend stuff. Oh, I know, right? So I may I may oh. throw up something. I may not. I may oh. take the night off and just hang out with Belinda as well. But uh, be back on Thursday night to help us make next week's session here live on Twitch. We'll have the straw polls ready, and we'll get going sharp at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's all for us tonight, guys. Take it easy, and have a safe night, everybody. Week. Peace, guys. Thanks. Good job, guys.